My name is Laura and I am from International Student and Scholar Services. The purpose of this part of the presentation is to present general information about the ISSS office and to give you information on maintaining your F1 status. So today we are going to cover the staff of the office, information about the office and how to use our office. We'll be talking about your immigration documents, maintaining your F1 status, and traveling on F1 status. So let me start with introducing the office staff. This is Leanne Tchaikovsky-Makny. She is the Director of International Student and Scholar Services and the Director of our International House, or our I House, that is a uh, residence for international and domestic students. She's worked at I House for over 20 years, and as you can see, she enjoys dark chocolate and gardening. Next up is Kristen. Kristen is our Community Operations Manager at our International House, and she likes cooking, helping people, and traveling. Next is Kim. Kim is our office manager. If you've been to our office already to check in, you've probably met Kim before. This is Evelyn. Evelyn is our CVIS Compliance Coordinator. Evelyn's role is to help make sure that your F1 records are correct and well maintained. And uh, that's me. I'm Laura, and I'm one of your international student advisors. As you can see, I like reading, I like bowling, and I like origami. And that's a picture of me with my very first bowling trophy. This is Stella. Stella is another one of your international student advisors. And next is Juliet. Juliet is an intern in our office. She's currently a master's student herself at the Monterey Institute of International Studies, and she's studying international education management. If you ever have any questions regarding your F1 status, contact International Student and Scholar Services. We're located in Clark Hall 543, and these are basically the best ways to reach us. First, our website. Our website has a comprehensive FAQ section, so if you do have questions, check out our site. We also keep updates on our office. Any office closures or office hour changes are also going to be on our office, so please do check it. Our email address is international-office at sjsu.edu. So if you do have a question and you just want to email us, that's the best way to get a hold of us. I will say that we do our best to respond to all emails as quickly as possible, but during busy times, it can take us up to two or even three days to respond, so do please be patient. If you want to come in and meet with an advisor, please come in and see us. We do all advising on a walk-in basis, and our hours are Monday through Wednesday from 10 to 12 and 1 to 3, and Thursdays from 1 to 4 p.m. We also offer a weekly employment workshop that you'll be required to attend before you can pursue any off-campus employment. Wednesdays from 3 and Thursdays from 10.30 to 